dollars. How much longer can he continue his winning streak? We'll find out in a moment as from Hollywood, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's our host, we work there. Thank you very much. Well, we got a couple of very interesting people on the show. Right in the middle of the game, doggone time ran out on the last show, so let's meet them right now and get this thing going again. Two good players. First, our champion. Okay, the current champion has winnings a total in cash and prizes $48,900. He's now working on two master's degrees at UCLA. This is Dan McDade. And his opponent was an attorney who gave up his law practice to become a police officer and is now a special agent for the FBI. Beat Bert Neal. You know, I was just thinking as they walked out here, Dan uh, looks to me to be more the FBI agent than Bert, you know, because he's very, very uh, conservative, very quiet, soft-spoken. Say something, Dan, to show him how soft-spoken you are. Tell him how much money you've won, Dan. A lot. <laughs> See what I mean? A man of few. You know what a lot means? $48,900 in cash and merchandise, and that includes two cars. He's currently playing against Mr. Bert Neal, who, as uh, Jay said, is an attorney and uh, gave up his law practice to become a police officer, special agent for the FBI. Bert, in uh, which jurisdiction do you work? Are you in the Los Angeles area? As a matter of fact, I am, Wink, and I work in fraud against the government. In fraud against the government? Right, that's a series of crimes. Why are you looking at me so hard, Bert? <laughs> I'm, I'm a very nice game show host just trying to make a, a living. Nice person. You ready to play our game? Right. All right, here are the categories. Strange, makes me, woo. Here are the subjects. Please, subjects, help me. Aquatic biology, heroes, evil people, animal songs, travel, men of ideas, symbols, the 30s, and famous actors. Now, uh, the last show was uh, interrupted and we had to stop. This is what the board looked like at that time as far as X's and O's are concerned. There they were. So now we're going to go back to you, Dan, and begin. Would you please select a category for us? I'll take uh, heroes to block, Wink. Heroes to block, top center, all right? Answer this and you'll block Bert. Dan, before he became president, this man became famous when he led the Rough Riders in the Spanish-American War. For a block, name him. Teddy Roosevelt. Right, Theodore Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. Good for a block, putting that there. All right, Bert, we have three boxes remaining on the board. We're going to shuffle the categories now and give you something to select from. $1,300 in the pot. You have symbols, you have aquatic biology, and you have heroes on the board. What's your pleasure? I think I'll go for heroes, too, Wink. You're going to go for heroes. All righty, here's your question, Bert. This famous Indian hero, who was called the Mahatma by his fellow countrymen, led many nonviolent protests against the British in order to secure his country's independence. Name him. Gandhi. Right. Mahandra Gandhi. So we put an O there, another two hundred dollars into the pot. And Dan, of course, as you see, there are two boxes remaining. Let's shuffle and see what comes up for you to select from. Heroes in the 30s. I'll take heroes to block me. Again, heroes. Answer this and you will block Bert. Dan? American hero Charles Lindbergh, who made the first solo flight across the Atlantic, named his aircraft for an American city whose residents had given funds for the plane. For a block, name the city. St. Louis. Right. The spirit of St. Louis. Name the plane. So that's good for a block. We put an X there, and in the pot now we have $1,700. Bird, as you see, we have one box remaining. As we shuffle, let's see what subject comes up in that one box. Animal songs. <laughs> Bert, if you answer the question on animal songs, you look like you're ready to throw up your hand, Bert. Don't do that yet. Answer this on animal songs, and we'll have a tie game. We'll start with nine new categories. Here's your question for a tie. One of Johnny Mercer's most popular songs was named for a luminous insect, which is often called a firefly. For a tie game, name this song. I don't know. It's called Glowworm. The Glowworm was the name of the song, animal song. All right, Dan, it's back to you. Still $1,500 in the pot. We're going to shuffle and see what subject comes up for you to select from. And here it is, Heroes. Heroes for the win, Wink. If you answer the question on Heroes, obviously you will win the game. You'll pick up $1,900 in cash. When we add that to your prior winnings, your grand total then comes to $50,800. Here's your question for a win. 
As one of his 12 labors, this mythological Greek hero had to kill the Hydra, a many-headed serpent. For a total of $50,800, name this legendary hero. Hercules. Right! <laughs> All right, Hercules, he, did, he looked like a Hercules standing there, doesn't he? $50,800 in cash and merchandise. And again, a try at uh, whipping the dragon up here. So, Dan, get congratulations. Anything you want to say before we uh, say goodbye to Bert? Goodbye, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost like, yeah, Bert, you're defeated. Now, will you get the heck out of here and let's get on with it? <laughs> How's it make you feel, Bert? Tough. Tough. <laughs> Repeat after me before you say goodbye, all right? Okay. We're going to sing this. Just, just very short, Bert. Shine, little glowworm, glimmer, glimmer. <laughs> Shine, little glowworm. I'm not going to do that to you, Bert. <laughs> okay. We have a couple of nice prizes for you. Thank you for being with us Thank you. on Tic Tac Joe. Delightful guy. We'll be back right after this. Stop and a free week trial of our new online weight loss program. Dan, in a matter of seconds, we're going to play our bonus game. And then after that, you're going to meet your 15th opponent. If you defeat that opponent, you're going to win your third very, very special prize. This is what it looks like. Another brand new car! <laughs> the all-new Buick Skylark, designed for comfort and convenience with front-wheel drive, providing impressive control and traction, and is furnished by Buick. Okay, Dan, that comes shortly in a couple of three minutes. Right now, who are you trying to beat the dragon? Come on over, let's see if you can do it. Sometimes it looks easy, sometimes it hadn't been so easy for you. We're not going to ask your mom and dad to come up here because you are going to do this until you get it right, Dan. Behind the numbers are various amounts of money and a dragon. All you have to do is get $1,000 or more. And for this bonus game, by the way, Dan, we're going to fill your home with the sound of music. And here's Jay to tell you how. Listen. Dan, first, you'll play your own kind of music on this beautiful new stereo from Sir Anthony James. A home stereo system including automatic and manual three-speed turntable and eight-track player recorder. Then to go with your new stereo. It's an album collection from the Epic Portrait and CBS Family of Associated Labels. Featuring the new Barry White album, The Message is Love, including the single It Ain't Love, Babe, on unlimited gold records and tapes. But Dan, this sound of music package wouldn't be complete if we didn't give you the chance to make your own live music with your new beautiful piano. It's the Winter Spirit Piano, incomparable beauty with unusually brilliant tone, soft, low silhouette, and a hand rub to finish everybody's favorite, the quality product of the Aeolian Corporation. And Dan, this sound of music package is worth, in cash and prizes, over $3,350. So here we go again. Now let's do better than we did last time, all right? Avoid the dragon or you lose everything. Get the tick and the tack and the dough is automatically yours. Now let's move everything around on the board, cover everything up. You're going to see nine numbers. Step up just a little bit. Get closer, but don't get close to the dragon. Go. Number five. Number five in the center. He's going to stick there until he gets it right. Number five. What do we find behind number five? We don't want to see the dragon and we don't. $250. All righty. Let's take a look at mom and dad out there. You're going to ask for their assistance. You're going to do this right now. Number eight. Number eight. Going to go with number eight this time, right under the 250. Let's see if we can find about 250, perhaps $500. Behind the eight, 150, we'll take it. 250 and 150. Now you got $400, you need 600 more. What do they say? Number four. Who says four? My friend. Your friend says four, and you're going to take number four. Let's look for $600 on the board. Do we find it behind number four, maybe 500? Yeah, $500. So you got $900. Remember, you can stop now and keep that, knowing the next call might be the dragon. Do you want to stop or keep going? I'll keep going. Give me a number. Number one. You need one. $100 is all you need. Just a little $100 bill behind that one. Does he find it? Let's take a look and see. Number one, what do you hold in store? There it is. I think you better, uh, you know, nothing against your mom and your dad, but it seems to me uh, that the friend out there that you keep referring to, who are you, who are you, who are you looking to for advice and assistance? My friend out there, my friend, is always right. What's yeah. his name? Dr. Stromberg. Dr. Stromberg, you have never been wrong, at least at this. <laughs> Make him feel good anyway, right? Huh? right? 
If you had uh, found the dragon, where do you think it would have been? Two, three, six, seven, or nine? You didn't find it, that was good. Number nine? Number nine. Let's look behind number nine before we look at the rest of the board and see if it was behind number nine. If you'd called out nine, you'd have tack. If you'd have called out two, three, six, or seven, the dragon would have been behind one of those numbers. Which one would it have been? Doesn't really matter now, but it was behind number six. You stayed away very, very nicely, and you also picked some nice prizes in the process. You picked up some cash. All of that comes now to a grand total of $54,150, and it just keeps going. Let me remind you, ladies and gentlemen, those of you in the audience, those of you at home, but most of all you, Dan, that the most critical game, if you win against your 15th opponent shortly, you are going to win your third automobile that would bring your winnings to over $60,000. Are you ready for the task? I'm ready. Let's get with it, then. Come on. Okay, Jay, who is it? Wait, here's a teacher who's married to an insurance executive, and her principal interest is football. Meet Linda Farrell. Hello, Linda. Hello, Wink. Now, this, Linda, this may not be easy for you, because you know he's tough. I know. He's tough. But listen, before we begin our game, let's talk a little bit about you, and tell me about your interest in football. I just love football. When football season comes around, I just, I'm so alive, I can't stand it. Now, that's from what, September to about uh, January? January. Yeah. Now, what happens with, between January and September? I go through football withdrawal. <laughs> that just about takes care of everything. How did the interest develop? Well, my father didn't have any sons, so I sort of became his pal and went to the games and things like that. Do you play the game? Uh, no, I'm very clumsy. I can't chew gum and walk at the same time. Well, at least here at Tic Tac Day, you don't even have to walk or move or anything. Just, just make the right decisions and give the right answers. Okay. And you beat a big guy like Dan over there. And a lot of people have not been able to do that. Let me I take know. a look at these subjects. Our subjects for the game are chemistry, comic strips, automobiles, pseudo titles, USSR, Who Am I, Civil War, television stars, and foreign writers. Critical game for you, Dan. You're looking for a win which would give you your third new car. Select. I'll go in the center box for the USSR. USSR in the center. I'll describe two organs of information within Russia. You give me their names. One, it's the widely circulated Russian newspaper whose name means truth. Two, the official Soviet news agency. Here's some extra time. <laughs> of information within Russia. You give me their names, Dan. Again, it's the widely circulated Russian newspaper whose name means truth. Pravda. Yes. The official Soviet news agency. Pass. Right. Good for the center box. Go to next, Dan. Starting out the same way. Let's move the categories around and put $300 in the pot. All right, Linda. Who am I? You're going to try to even it up with the subject, who am I? I'm a jazz composer and pianist whose real first name is Edward. But for many years, I've been known by a more royal title. It probably started at the Cotton Club in Harlem, where I took the A train to instant success. Well, enough of that jazz. Linda, who am I? Count Basie? No, Duke Ellington. Oh. Duke Ellington, the great Duke. We'll be right back to continue the game between Dan and Linda right after the interview. $300 in the pot will take us back to Dan, who's going for his second big X on the board. I'll take Civil War in the corner, Wink. All righty, Civil War. The question, Dan, is this. In March of 1862, two ironclad ships met in a naval battle off the coast of Virginia. The southern ship was the Merrimack, named the northern vessel. The Monitor. Right. Battle of the Merrimack and the Monitor. We all learned about that one in school in a hurry. Let's move the categories around. Two diagonal X's on the board. Linda, do something. Suitable titles to block. All right, for a block. Suitable titles, unlikely as it seems, characters named Mortimer Snurd and Charlie McCarthy might have dedicated the song, I'm Your Puppet, to this man. For a block, name him. Edgar Bergen. Right. You got that one right. Good for a block and an important name for you. Let's move the categories around. Put it over there. $200 into the pot takes it to $700, Dan. I'll take um, <clears throat> TV stars, Wink, in the corner. Television stars. Dan, take a look at this picture, please. In a popular television series of the 60s, this Ozark family became multimillionaires. Name the series. The Beverly Hillbillies. Right. Right. Beverly Hillbillies. Put an X there. Let's shuffle them around again. <laughs> Different positions on the board taken by our subjects. And there they are, Linda, lined up for you. What do you see? 
USSR to block. For a block, Linda, all the czars of Russia from 1613 to 1917 had the same family name. For a block, what was it? Romanov. Right. Romanov for a block. Put it over there. Let's shuffle them again. 1100 in the pot. Dan. I'll take Civil War in the corner, wink, uh, wink for a win. All right, for a diagonal win, Dan, if you answer the question on the Civil War, you'll pick up $1,300. You would also win your third automobile, and your grand total on tic-tac-toe would then go up to $60,750. Here's your question. Among the critical Civil War battles fought in this southern state were Chancellorsville and Fredericksburg. For a third car and a total of $60,750, name the state. Virginia. Right. For tic tac -Go. Congratulations, Dan. Dan, how many, just answer this very truthfully, very honestly. In the course of your life, how old are you, Dan? I'm 32, Wink. 32 years old. How many standing ovations have you received today? This is the first. Is it the first? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's not something that you're dating. Not quite, no. No. Well, I, maybe you'll be getting a lot more the way you're playing this game. Dan, congratulations. Your Thank third you, car is now in your possession. $60,750 total yours. And again, congratulations. Linda? If it's any consolation, honey, he's done that to an awful lot of contestants. Fifteen. Yeah. And listen, we have a couple of very nice prizes for you backstage. Thank, Thank you for you. being with us on Tic Tac Joe. Thank you. Linda Farrell. Okay, Dan, let's try it again. Come on over. You son of a gun. <laughs> all right, now, are we all ready to play this game, huh? I think so. Do you remember some of the prizes that we had up for grabs the last time we were at the board? I believe so. Well, we got some new prizes this time for you, and I want you to listen very carefully, because if you get $1,000 or more, get Tick and Tack, you are going to win these. Listen to Jay. Dan, it's Tick Tack those gifts for you in your home package. First, we're going to start off by making you feel safe and sound with this home security system. For peace of mind, it's the Energy Gathering Computer Wireless Alarm Security System. Provides total residential intrusion protection from Radar Detection Incorporated. And that security system will be protecting your new collection of crystal. Leonard Silver's genuine hand-cut full lead crystal. Featuring a vase, decanter, bowls, and many other sparkling crystal accessories for your home. All furnished by the Leonard Silver Manufacturing Company. And that security system is also going to protect your new color TV. Quasar's trim, contemporary-looking 19-inch color TV with the new Dynabrite 2 inline picture tube. Sharpness and tone controls and automatic color control system furnished by Quasar. And Dan, the reason why you need the security system to protect your home is because you're not going to be there. Because we're flying you to Holland! The land of windmills and waterways. You tip no through the tulips of this giant, exceeding, small kingdom of the North Sea. You'll enjoy 15 fun-filled days furnished by Club Universe. And Dan, this great gift package is worth, in cash and prizes, over $3,650. And we'll see those numbers up there now. We're going to move them all around, and we're going to get ready to give you the opportunity right now to win all of those prizes in that gorgeous trip to Holland. There's the old guy. He's just moving all around on the board. Let's stop him, cover him up, look at those numbers, and what are you going to begin with? One through nine. What's your pleasure going to be? Uh, number two. Wayne. Number two. All right, Little Deuce, top center. What's behind number two? Take a look. Here we go. $100. You need 900 more. All right, let's go. Pick another. Number six. Number six, right over here. All right. In the middle right side. What's behind number six? To go with $100, a big bill? Yeah. That takes you to 600 You need 400 more. What do they say? Number three. Number three. All right, above the five, next door to the one. How about a $400 or a $500? You got $150. What's all going to be? That one, four, five, seven, eight, nine, one. Number four. All right, number four. Let's look behind number four and see what we have. Anything but the dragon. Looks mighty good to us. $250. You're close. You got it. That's it. 
One, five, seven, eight, or nine. Let's reveal the rest of the board. He was right in the center, and that's where you started a lot. But fortunately, that time, you didn't start with number five. So you have a grand total now, Dan, of $64,400 in cash and merchandise. We'll be right back, right after these commercial words. Recat, I'm going to wear on this Friday show. Thanks for being with us. I can't keep it on my head. Goodbye. They thought they were just everything.